All right, welcome back to Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. Let's see the journal over here. We need to go help some people out, I guess. Someone, something terrible down there. Shh. Oh, no, stop. I don't want to hear it. It came out of thin air, and everyone at the station lost their mind. They were screaming, shooting at each other. Only two of us made it out of there. That thing still got bluish, though. Quiet. Hush. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Ah! I thought he'd get better if I dragged him away, but he's getting worse. Please, kill whatever is hiding down there. I'm begging you. I, I'll give you the code to the stash. Tell me what happened here. Bluish and I went out for a smoke break. Then we heard gunshots and screams coming from the station. Bluish rushed back, and I went after him. We didn't get far before that thing spotted us. I felt like someone was peering into my mind. Crushing it, whispering things. Bluish fell. He was ahead of me, so it hit him harder. I grabbed him and ran away. I contacted Dubny right away. That's our chief safety officer. Leave Bluish there, he said. And get to the base. I'm sending help. I'd never abandoned Bluish, of course. But help never came. All right. I'll deal with it. I'll kill this creature. Whatever it is. For real? Thanks. That thing is hiding underground, waiting. There's a safe way to get down there, but only North has the key. He's our supervisor. He must be upstairs. Sometimes he climbs to the roof to get some fresh air. Go find him. One more thing. There are a lot of our men inside. If it wasn't for the thing downstairs, they'd do you no harm. But they're out of their minds now, so take care. Okay, then. Let's see what we got inside there. Zombies. Shit. How do I get up?
I can't really see where the gap is. Yeah, there it is. Just gotta pay attention. They can really hurt me. I don't see a way from here. Okay, so it's not this building, it's uh, gotta be the second one then. Don't tell me that blood smear is all that's left.
So very close.
Wait, should I have uh, killed all of these guys? Because I went for all that fucking effort to try and keep them alive, you know?
Spotted two new titers. Need to check on their condition. We're noon titers. Just like you. Are you really gonna shoot us? All noon titers are supposed to be at the base. What the fuck were you idiots doing out here? Oh! Who are you? What are you doing here? A noon titer hired me to kill a dangerous mutant. That's true! And you did it! The thing's dead! Shut up! Did you really take out the controller all by yourself? <laughs> Thanks, I guess. You saved me a lot of time. So here's the deal. I don't want any trouble with Dubny. He always pays me triple. And his orders were clear. Get rid of any witnesses along with anyone who was under the controller's influence. You're gonna scurry back to your base, Nunes, either. But the Stalker and the shell shock guy are out of luck. We'll see who's out of luck here. Exactly! Eat waste, you freak! Sorry, Stalker. So that's what Dubny calls help. And he's the one who thinks Stalkers are assholes. If he'd only send five guys like you instead. <sighs> Thanks again, man. We are not going back to noon. If I have to listen to Dubny ramble on about how he did the right thing and shit, I'm gonna barf. <sighs> Bluish was right. We're better off leaving. The stash you gave me was empty. Quiet had already looted it. When was the last time you checked it? Oh, sorry about that, Stalker. We're not allowed in there. Here, I sent some coupons to your PDA instead. Anyway, Quiet's all right. He's done with Noontide. He's a traitor now. We should go join him. Bluish wanted to leave for a long time, and I kept talking him out of it. Like, how can we let our brothers down? What about Dubny? Or Strider? In the end, me and Bluish weren't the ones who let our brothers down. As for Dubny and Strider, they can go fuck themselves. Can you tell me anything about Noontide? Sure thing, loner. Not like it matters anymore. You must have some kind of connection to Monolith. Tell me about it. Oh, you don't know? Noon is Monolith. Or at least it used to be. We were controlled by the Wish Granter. We protected it from danger. Stalkers, bandits, scientists. We worshipped it like a god. None of us remember those days anymore. But other people in the zone, oh, they remember. They say we were brutal murderers, fanatics. And then the monolith went silent. Only Faust remembers his voice. He says we used to be happy. Well, we could be happy now, without making others suffer. All it takes is to live like humans. <clears throat> Tell me more about Dubne. Actually, our leader is Strider. He's the one who was gathering us from all over the zone to bring us to Wild Island. Noontide is his creation. Dubne is Strider's right-hand man. He keeps Noon safe from the rest of the zone, from stalkers, from the mainland, even from ourselves. Except it's not working. I bet that he had the best of intentions when he sent those mercenaries after us too. You saw how it went. That's all I wanted to know. If you have any more questions, sure. What does N I used to believe we were? But what good does it actually? Maybe.
Okay. This is probably faster. Dead, they say. Destroyed. Lies, I tell you. They're all filthy, pathetic lies. You can't kill God just like you can't get rid of the sky up above. You can go and hide from him and car away in some musty hole in the ground. But that won't stop the wind from blowing, or the rain from pouring. Crazy fanatics, they say. Murderers. Brave warriors, I tell you. His worthy children. Stop brainwashing my men, Faust. You're only making it worse. What could be worse than this? What have we become? Are you happy, Strider? 
My boots are fine for the road I walk. There are more important things than happiness. And what's that then? Backbreaking work? Hardship. Oh, that enduring sense of guilt. It didn't used to be like this. We were different. Part of something much greater. I was the word, and you carried the banner of the monolith. We brought death. Against our will. Well, now we're dying ourselves. The fumes are killing us. As are the bullets of our ventral enemies. How many brothers roam the zone to this day, lost and forgotten, forced to hide their past? We have to find them. We have to bring them to their safety. By force? We all know about Wild Island. Everyone must make the choice for themselves. And what will they find here? The meaning of life? Or a similar bunch of miserable wretches just like them who don't know what they Spider want? Spider saved us! Mm, yeah. And now... He's killing us. Once, we were his children. And what are we now? Men of free will. Who choose their own way. You're living in the past, Faust. The monolith is dead. It's time to grow up. You can't kill God. Just like you can't get rid of the sky up above. Think again. I am blind, but it is you who cannot see. Go, cower, in your hole in the ground. Hide from the past. Hide from his light. Hide from yourself. Skiff, do you have the inductor? You said Noon has rejected its monolithian past. Losing our memory was a gift from fate. I believe that Noon has its own way, its own future, and we will earn it with the sweat of our brow. But Faust, he still remembers monolith remembers the days when we used to be happy. Unfortunately, there are others who wish they could still remember it too. So now they're gone. They're no longer a part of Noon. But if any of them ever changes their mind, Wild Island will always welcome them back. What did I just see? The end of one very long argument. I just hope we never find out who is right. Sure. I have it with me. There's an old Azimuth comp station not far from here. One day, after we find and mothball all that's left of Monolith, we'll destroy it. In the meantime, of course? It's a good thing you have that inductor, Stalker. It can direct a signal. You'll need it later. But the station needs to be turned on first. Azimuth was taken over by the ward a little while ago. They have the access keys. I guess you can figure out what to do about them. It looks like Faust is involved in this mess. Are you gonna do something about it? You think I haven't tried to stop him, Skip? What am I supposed to do? 
Silence him? Lock him in his cell? People blame us because of our monolithian past. But Faust, he was one of the first people I brought here. We built Noon together. He cares for his brothers. He wants them to find happiness. Faust's got his own way of helping them. I might disagree with the path he has chosen, but that's no excuse to take away his freedom. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? So I guess I'm going to Azimuth. Wait a minute, Skiff. This isn't just your concern anymore. Faust is my brother. That much is true. I still trust him. But if it turns out that he's going to hurt someone, Noon is not your enemy. And this is my proof. Keep it, loner. It's a good gun. Why would you give it to a stalker but wear a shell casing that matches it around your neck? The gun is a gift for the future. As for the shell casing, it signifies the past. Do we understand each other? Noon is not monolith. We make our own choices now. It's too bad the bro- I'm gonna miss fa- Anyway. What? We'll get it fixed. That's another job done. One, two, it works, right? Check, one, two. Who are you? Oh, so you can hear me, huh? Good. You wanna make some money? For both of us, actually. Go talk to Quiet. Oh, that's Whoa. me. <laughs> I'm just filling in, so... We... Try not to get sick. I can't do much. Turning into a zombie is the worst. I'd rather die fast. I step out of this. And nothing's the same anymore. Huh? It's for the now I can get back to work. be here. I guess. Well, it's things that even you see. Don't get. Oh, uh, right. I guess. Well, it stings that he was going to drop by. Well, I can go repair this stuff. Huh! Well, okay. That's another job done.
That's another job done. Okay. Don't. I'm watching you. Did. Now I can get back. I guess it's gonna rain. Either that or there's an emission. Talk to our boss. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, we well, that was something. Try not. I know the what so you Deals for you. Come on over. <laughs> I heard IPSF's gonna call all their lapdog troops out of the zone next year. Over at the slag heap, some folks are all ready, if you ask me. Come on.
a decent for Good luck. Okay. Alright, I have enough money to go back, but I could also take this opportunity to go explore a bit. Let's see what's here. a bit. I think it's like a bug with the FOV slider. I 
I can tell you, I've looked for scopes. <laughs> it's like, that is not how it looks. Like, it feels like I'm holding the gun too far away. Okay, so it's upstairs. Or up somewhere. Out by up. That's gonna be sorted with a restart. Costin Sanyat.